Hey guys, it's Emily Elizabeth. Welcome back. And today, as you can tell, I'm in a different setting. Now that winter break is over, I am back at school, unfortunately slash not unfortunately. I am finishing up my last semester until I graduate, so I'm super excited. But uh, since I am back, I thought I would just give you a tour of kind of what my life looks like at school. Um, usually I am here, obviously, like when classes are in session in the weekdays. I just thought I would give you a look into what my room slash apartment looks like because I'm not in quite like a res regular uh, residential hall. I'm in more of an apartment style place. So I thought I would just show you kind of what it looks like. Don't set your hopes up too high because it's not that fancy, but it's honestly not that bad compared to some other dorms I've seen. So I will give you a real life look into what it's like to live as a college student on campus. So I'll show you now. Okay, so here is what it looks like when you first walk in. A very nice wall, but uh, <laughs> but to the left here is the living room. So this is kind of what our main area is that we all kind of share as a space. Um, I actually like the couches because they come apart, so we set one of the couches here separated as chairs that are just more comfortable to use. Um, these boxes are just random stuff that I had to take for kitchen supplies that, you know, you have to keep because at the end of the semester you don't remember where they came from. And excess chairs because we all brought our own chairs. So yes, yeah, my lights went out up here right before I started this video, so that's nice. But yeah, it's just a basic living room. And we have my little coffee station here that I uh, share with my friends. And then behind me is our kitchen. Again, nothing fancy. We have a fridge and actually a good amount of storage, surprisingly. Um, like we keep um, some Tupperware up here, cups, pots and pans, my blender, all of the necessities. So I brought like the microwave and the toaster oven and all of basically everything up here. Uh, it only really comes, you know, with what already has been shown. But I love that we have a full freezer and fridge combination because you know, there's three adults living here. There's supposed to be four, but, um... So yeah, as I was saying, so there's supposed to be four of us living here, but one actually moved out. She just had to finish up the fall semester and then she was done. So now there's only three of us living here, but I actually like it because there's uh, one less person to make a mess, I guess. It's just easier to keep clean and maintain. So yeah, so let's continue on the tour. Yeah, as we leave our front door, this is our front door. Welcome to where we keep our trash. This room is my room, but I will show you that later. This is actually really cool because we have storage space for all of our food. So using up this space is actually really nice because we don't have necessarily a pantry really. So we just use this, which is awesome because then we have a place to put all of our food. So continuing to walk down the hall, this is where my other two suite mates live. This room is a double where my hand is now. Um, I'm just covering up their names. But um, that room is the double, and then this is the single that the last girl moved out of, and our bathroom. So again, nothing fancy, but I love having this large mirror here because then you can have more than one person getting ready or brushing their teeth. So yeah, this is our little station. We keep um, all of our trash bags and toilet paper, cleaning supplies under here. So again, awesome amount of storage, which is actually kind of surprising. And then in here is our shower, um, shower toilet combination. I added this <laughs> shower curtain because, you know, gotta bling up what you can, right? Toilet, you know, the essentials. So I actually love too that this is a full size shower. Usually you don't get that in a lot of dorm rooms because, you know, there's just not a lot of space. So I'm really happy that we have a whole shower. So yeah, as I was saying, I love having our own bathroom, which is part of the reason I like living in an apartment style suite, because you don't have to share a bathroom um, with like a million other people. It stays clean and I'm kind of a germaphobe, so I love that part. Also, do you like these yellow walls? Not my favorite, but I just personally am not like a fan of yellow. Maybe just particularly not on every single wall. Every wall in this suite is yellow, so it's kind of overwhelming, but that's why I kind of try and cover it up with decorations. But yeah, well, you gotta take what you can get, right? 
But yeah, now if we walk back out of the bathroom, again, this was the double that my friends live in. And walking down, now you can see this is the hall where the front door is here and the living room over there. And I also like that we have this space where we can see through because when we're walking around, we can all just talk to each other freely. So it's super nice. So let's, I'll bring you into my room now. Okay, so now let's head into my room. It's not very big, so bear with me. This is just my laundry basket and my mini fridge, which is really awesome to have just to keep some of my things separate. Here's my bed. I like to keep it a little bit higher, but not too high because I am on the shorter side and just some of my decorations. I just flipped some of the pictures around because not everybody wants to be in the vlog, so that's okay. But I just have some cute little decorations and then I strung these lights up, which is super cute which is helpful because it adds some extra dim lighting at night. And then this is my TV. And this bin actually is helpful because it raises my TV up so that I can see enough from my bed. But I also like to keep a lot of my important files in here. So um, anything I don't want to get lost or I really want to make sure I know where it is, I keep it in here, which is super helpful because then everybody, everything is one, in one place. Um, but yeah, so I have a mini fridge just to keep some things separate if I need to or access really quick. Um, down here, I keep um, some extra storage bins of food. So I just keep some um, snacks in there that I want to um, grab on the go or anything like that. So this is my desk. Don't mind all of this mess, but you know, I told you guys I'm going to give you a real tour. But I love actually that this comes with drawers as well so I can keep everything and I brought my own chair because you saw the chairs out there they're like hard and uncomfortable so I like to bring my own chair. There are more comfortable chairs in some of the other halls but um, I just like having my own anyways. So this is my little uh, necklace holder, my makeup mirror, just some essentials. I love this LED light it's super awesome it's from Amazon I think. And then I just like to get my graduation cap here from high school, just as um, a memorial. And then this little thing is a loon that is actually a rock that was painted from where my lake house is, just to kind of remind me of home. So yeah, and I love the big windows because you it lets in a lot of light. But yeah, and then this stand is just to hold um, whatever I need as like a side table, my remote control to the TV, my fan. I'm one of those people who can't sleep without a fan, so... That is essential but okay and then to the right of the front door this is my door where you walk in i just have this hook to hang up my winter jacket because um, in the winter when it's snowy or raining and it's wet i have nowhere to put it so i put this here but here is my dresser i actually love having this because if you open it up here are all my clothes and then i've just put some more hooks on the inside again for more sweatshirts but yeah, and then it comes with this mirror, which is awesome because I didn't have to bring one. Um, but then I just keep some of my lotions, um, jewelry, excess stuff at the bottom, my purse, all the good stuff. And then down here I keep uh, my underwear and socks, bras, and then down here is pants, workout clothes. So it's really nice. This is my, just some of my storage bins to keep um, like, uh, plastic silverware if I need it, um, extra medicine, anything like that, and some extra hooks that I like to use to hold up a lot of sweatshirts because as you can see up there, I have a lot of sweatshirts. But yeah, this is, I like to keep out just in case I want to lay out my outfit if I have an important day. I can have everything ready to go. My whiteboard and clipboard to um, just keep all of my notes. Yeah, and then I like to keep my shoes here. Don't mind these. They were supposed to hang up on here, but they keep falling down, so I've kind of given up on them until I can figure something else out. But yeah, so this is kind of what it looks like. I kept a couple pictures up, like of my dog and my sister and I, but uh, I like to just keep these to kind of remember like my family and my friends while I'm away at school. So yeah, that was my dorm room slash suite tour. Like I said, it was nothing fancy, but I've tried to decorate it here and there with like paintings I've done or tapestries, you know, whatever can cover up the yellow walls. <laughs> but um, some people might like that. I'm just not a big fan of it. But you know, you have to deal with it. So 
It's kind of funny too, I've actually lived in this same suite twice. This is my second year living in this suite. So I lived in this suite last year, my junior year, so I have become very comfortable in it. I was actually in the double last year with my friend, and this year I am in the single, so it's nice to have my own space. Um, I get a lot of work done, which is good because I can concentrate. So yeah, that was the honest truth to behind how I live at school. So I hope that gave you a glimpse into kind of what a college student lives like and uh, more of the apartment style because I feel like it's not shown a lot. More people just show the residential buildings that are kind of, you know, like a hotel room kind of. And I really like this because it's more of like a motel almost but. but yeah so that was an honest look into how I live while I'm at school like I said it's nothing fancy but it puts a roof over my head and I am very grateful to be able to roll out of bed and go to class it is very convenient and between classes I have somewhere to go so it's awesome to have just like a place to come back to and study or um, when I'm out late you can just have a place to sleep, you know? And I love being able to cook in my dorm and utilize the kitchen because in some of the other residential halls, we don't have that. Um, so it is super helpful on the days where I need to whip something together or I don't feel like going to the dining hall, I can cook right here in my apartment. So it's really helpful. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this mini tour of my dorm slash apartment at school. But uh, <laughs> yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye.